Hello and welcome to practice. Today is a very special practice because it's not going to be neither yoga or mobility. Today we're actually going to build and we're going to build on glutes and the lower back. Because pregnant or not, stability and balance is very, very important and glute muscles are indeed important. So let's get down on the mat and let's get started. Come all the way down on all fours. Step your knees back into tabletop pose. And then spread the fingers out wide so we get to warm up into our wrists. So shift forward and back, shift forward and back. Keep going. All right, then come back to center. Turn the palms up to the sides and shift towards your left and right. You get to be quite flowy and playful with this type of movement. And then come back to center. All right, let's bring a tiny a bit of counterbalance. Then turn the palms facing up with the back of your palm down. You don't need to put any pressure. This is quite hard, I know. And then come back to our initial position. Now, to warm up into the low back, first of all, we'll be start sliding our hips towards the left and right. Again, with wavy type of movements. Let's do this for five. Four, three, two, and one. Hey, good job. All right, we'll be starting on our left side. So slightly step your right knee in. And then when you're ready, kick the left leg back, bending the left knee, flex the heel, and then keep a tight core so we will get to minimize the swing. And then lower and lift. Go for two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Now extend the leg back, turn your left toes out, and the same thing. Minimize swing again. Lower and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. Now bend into the knee, bring it slightly forward. Keep the knee at high level, knee and the ankle should be in the same level. And then lower and press. Go for two, and three, and four, and five. Go for six, seven, eight. And nine and ten. Ooh, hold it there just a tiny bit for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. Ooh, that was a good burn. Now slide your hips towards your left and right. And just a bit of release before we get started with the other side. All right, come back to center, reset your feet, bring the left knee slightly in, and then donkey kicks on the other side. So bend into your right knee, make sure that the heel is flexed and the foot is flexed, and then lower and lift. Go for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Now extend the right leg back and then turn the toes out. So the heels are in. Same thing. Lift and lower. Go for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Whew. Good job. Bend into the right knee, bring it over to the sides. And then we get to lift and lower. Go for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Hold it there for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. Whew. That was a good burn. Now reset your knees and then wavy type of movements. Bring your hips to sides. 
<sighs> All right, so just so we get to take our minds off our glutes, we will come back to our center and then we will loosen up our low backs. So with an inhale, soften, gaze forward, exhale, round in. Inhale, soften, gaze forward, exhale, round in. four and in last one go for five and in all right now slide to sides again this is a very good cherry type of juicy movement in between and then slightly bring your right knee in extending the left leg back again if you want you get to even come up high on your left fingertips for better stability and then what we're going to do here will be circling more precisely narrow circles so go for one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten don't forget to breathe reverse one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now we'll be sliding slightly forward and towards the back Ooh, this is going to be a burner go for two and three Ooh, four and five go for six and seven eight nine and ten ah oh, well done well well done bring the knee down Let's bring it out. Soft, wavy movement. Oh, this feels really, really good right in between. And then straight on for the other side. Step your left knee back for better support. And then slide the right leg back. Turn the heels in, toes out. in the tiny circles. Four, one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine and ten now reverse one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now slide it over to the right and then over to your left go for two and three minimize swing and four go for five and six Go for seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, great job. <laughs> now, widen your knees, toes are touching, and then slide gently your hips towards your left and right. I'm telling you, this is a good one. Really, really good one. All right, then let's stretch it out. So bring the left knee forward. Bend, 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 and slide your left knee over to the right side. Whilst with your right leg, nicely step it back. In yoga, we call this pigeon pose. And now you get to shift your hips with the left and right, being very mindful of your belly. Now you get to come even higher if the belly is restricting you respect your belly that is the most important thing you know good job step your palms back reset bring the right knee forward step the left foot back and then turn the right knee over to the right side and the same thing shift towards your left and right If you want to come up higher, please do so. Just a tiny bit of movement and conscious movements here. We don't want anything drastic or too sudden. All right, good job. Lower, and then you get to step the left foot forward and roll on an easy seat position. So bring the hands on the top of your knees and then slide the chest forward, open the shoulder, lengthen your spine, you get in a slot, tilt your head back and then with an exhale, rounding. 
inhale open exhale round in inhale open Now we'll be bringing the left hand down, reach the right arm up and over. And then stretch over to the other side. And then finally, reach the arms back. And see if, if your body allows just a tiny bit of opening into the upper side of the body. And then come back to center. Thank you so much for joining me for this very sweet and short class. Till next time, all the best.